two, one, and liftoff. So, Sashi Brown and Hugh Jackson didn't go to Deshaun Watson's pro day at Clemson or Mitch Trubisky's pro day at North Carolina. And I'm not, I'm not sure why. Now, there are other Browns people there, mm -hmm. and I don't think any NFL head coaches were at Mitch Trubisky's. But if you are trying to find a franchise quarterback, I would go to everything. Sashi Brown went to the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas, and I saw him there to watch Mitch Trubisky play then. And he was watching Mitch Trubisky warm up. He was watching Mitch Trubisky hang out on the field. So I know they're doing private workouts, but if you're investigating this, I would investigate every aspect. And that includes seeing them in a giant setting like that with your own eyes. Well, the answer could be, Doug, that they don't see a franchise quarterback in this draft. Oh, so that's your answer to this? No, I'm saying, that's your it, answer to everything. I'm saying it could be. I don't see a guy worth going after at the top of the first round in this draft. But let's suggest that they might for a minute. They have revamped the scouting staff. It's, it's all uh, together this year, more so than it was a year ago. When you know that Hugh went and worked out quarterbacks, mm -hmm. they sprayed the, the one ball, uh, Pep Hamilton, mm -hmm. to make it hard for Wentz or Goff to throw in a wet ball. So they did that. So we know that they understand the importance of it. I would prefer to assume that they have their staff in place this year. They trust the people they have at this and they're going to, at these pro days and they're going to work these guys out privately. So I don't see it as a big deal. It makes me question a little bit why we even have these pro days. Because we have the combine and then you have private workouts and then if everyone's kind of blowing off pro day, what's the point?